What's going on guys, Angel here. Welcome back to On Feet. This is where I check out new and old sneakers. I unbox them, get my first impressions on them, and I also show them off on feet. Today I'm gonna be checking out an older sneaker from Adidas and it's called Equipment Support 9118. And I have it right here. Now this shoe, the reason why I'm doing this video on this shoe, one, because it's still in pretty good condition and I've had it for years. In fact, I was able to get my hands on this actually, I'm trying to think here. This is a long time ago, guys. This is when I was in high school still. And uh, I think this might've been one of my first pair of Adidas. It does have a little bit of yellowing uh, on the sides here, but I will say I tried to keep them as clean as I could, but I literally will wear these shoes pretty much everywhere I went. I would wear it to school, I would wear it to the amusement park, wear it to the mall, back when the mall was popular, I would wear it to the movie theater. This was my go-to shoe to just slip on. In my opinion, they really need to bring this whole entire lineup back of the equipment line. These originally went for 130 or I think 140 at the time. Uh, I do remember me getting a gift card for my birthday or it might've been for Christmas when I was celebrating Christmas, but I got it one of those times and uh, I can't remember how much the gift card was for, but I remember it was already on sale for like 80 bucks and then like the gift card took off like I think $40 or so. I ended up paying only like 40 bucks for these shoes when they were originally for like 130. So pretty much every shoe I have was always discounted in some way. I remember seeing these shoes and I was like, yo, these are really different, especially at the time. I'll even zoom in really quick so you can kind of get a better look or I'll just come close to the camera. Check it out though, the colorway is so good. The color blocking is really good on these. The material they used back then, it was this nice knit material, but it was also stretchy. Kind of like, uh, I guess, fly knit from Nike in a sense or whatever they use now there. I forget what they call it, honestly, I forgot what it's called. The bottom here looks even cooler because it has this nice uh, design to it and then this green pattern on the sides. And it brings that green pattern all the way kind of throughout the shoe, going from the three Adidas stripes or it turns into three Adidas stripes on the side here, but on the bottom, it shows this green pattern. I really like that. This part right here is actually just foam. Um, it's not rubber or anything. It, you can tell it does get a little bit dirty, but the back here has this nice reflective panel uh, to the light. It looks super cool on feet, and I can't wait to show you all. I'll probably have a couple B-roll in here anyway. This is the inside of the shoe. It is worn off now, probably the uh, Adidas logo and everything, but it does show the equipment a little bit in there. So, I mean, they held up really well. I have never changed the insole of this shoe. This is the original one and it still feels good. One thing that I really liked about this shoe was that the boost foam that they use, if you can kind of get a closer look at it, the boost foam that they were using back then was not like the Boost Foam now. Boost Foam back then was more squishier. Um, they do still have some models that are pretty squishy like the uh, Ultra Boost 1.0 and a couple other ones like the ZX 2K Boost. Those are also very comfy as well. But this was pretty much one of the most comfortable shoes that I've honestly bought from Adidas, at least back then. And for 130, I mean, that's really not a bad price. There's a lot of shoes, there were a lot of shoes back then that were going for like 160, 180, the 200. I have seen this shoe on GOAT for actually the original price and I may pick up a brand new pair. This is a size 11, I remember. In fact, I still have the original box, hold on. This is the original box that it came in. Um, I'll even show you, but there we go. It says it needs equipment, uh, EQT, support 9118. In here now I actually have, um, I actually forgot what I put in here. Ah, oh, yeah, that's right. So I have my 44s, if y'all can tell, but I got my Adidas uh, 44 twos in there. I love those shoes, they're very comfy. 3D printed shoe, check them out. Going back to design a little bit more, just check out the inner part of it. So they have these nice striped lines on the, on the outer part here with this orange stripe here. They just did a really good job designing these. Like I wish they would bring these type of shoes back. This was pretty much like a perfect lifestyle casual shoe in my opinion, uh, it fit perfectly. So it was kind of like you had like a sock liner, but at the same time, you could still move it around. The tongue is obviously um, not adjustable or anything, but it feels so perfect. Um, it fits so well that you really don't even need to adjust the tongue pretty much at all. I even like this part here that they did. They had this nice just equipment 9118. Can we bring that back? Like, come on Adidas. As you can see on the side here, it has cracked up a little bit, but that's really just age. And even my Adidas boosts a little bit of the white. You can tell it's kind of yellow in some parts. I mean, that was expected. Like I said, I pretty much wore these out wherever I went. And I have cleaned them. I tried to maintain them as much as I could. The only other shoe that I have would be my Kobe's. And I'll try to do a video on those. I actually forgot the name of them. But 
I found those. In fact, I think my dad had brought them for me from Ross. These are the Kobe's that I have. Um, the color looks amazing on them. I still, I will say, they're not as comfortable anymore. It was a pretty hard shoe at the time. Like the inner sole feels really nice because it has this like rigid texture to it. I don't know if you all can kind of tell, but it has this rigid texture. It is yellow, a yellow sole. It's kind of, it's not even a normal insole. It's like, I'll actually try to pull it out really quick. Hold on. So check this out. That's what the insole looks like. It's an actual made, like, it's an actual molded insole, which is a nice touch for comfort. Um, I do remember really wearing, trying to wear these shoes a lot. The only issue was that the color was just kind of odd. Having the yellow, it was like, what does this really go with? Because if I would wear black, it didn't really go um, too well. It's just a shoe that I really tried to take care of. And you can obviously tell that they look still brand new. Uh, I've worn these multiple times. The only thing that looks kind of worn would be obviously the sole. The only other reason I'm bringing this shoe up and kind of doing a video about it is mainly because Adidas came out with this new shoe called Explorer, I guess, Boost. And that one currently runs for, I think, 180 or 190 which is a pretty steep price. So I'm just going to wait for them to discount it like they do all their shoes. And then I'll snatch them. And I'm going to kind of compare them and see if they fit or feel as good as those shoes, as good as these shoes, because from what people have been saying is that the comfort level is up there with the Nike Invincible Run 2. So we're gonna see. But thank you all for watching. Till next time, peace out.